Adam, the National Weather Service says these storms had wind gusts of up to 60 miles an hour in some cases, more than strong enough to bring down trees and cause scenes like this one playing out in Lowell and here in North Chelmsford. There was a tree that was here not even an hour ago, but crews have been hard at work, as you see, clearing it up and cleaning it out, the ones that have left many in the dark and roads blocked. And in the case in Chelmsford, leaving one family now having to clean up their home. Michelle Filoon and her husband spent the day on the Cape. Her teenage boys here at home alone. The one time we actually leave our kids home alone for a couple of days. It wasn't long after she got the call about what happened. It's just not expecting it to be as bad as it is. Thursday storms strong enough to bring down trees across Lowell and Chelmsford. Filoon's two sons were in their rooms away from this kitchen where this massive pine tree came crashing into their home. More so that they were okay was the biggest thing, but now seeing this, I can't believe, like, I, I just can't believe it. <laughs> what do you do now? Exactly. I uh, run a home daycare. So that's going to be put on hold for a little while, I guess. I got to call those parents and let them know. And I mean, thank God I was on vacation because I could have had a house full of little ones. As the Filoons searched their home, one thing was still missing, their cat, Zoe. All right, After searching high and low, Zoe, Zoe, she's so anxious. They found the cat hiding under their bed. Such a relief. I mean, they're, they're just as much as my human kids to me, so. <laughs> Glad to know that she's good, she's okay, and we'll take her over to the grandparents and figure out from there. A happy ending there, but here and elsewhere, as you can see, there is still more work to be done as crews are working to clear down all of those trees, which have led to many people in the dark. At last check, the national grid here in Massachusetts was reporting 3,000 outages almost involving customers. A majority of those were here in Lowell and Chelmsford and places like this. This appears to have been the hardest hit area in this part of the state. Work continues tonight to clear that up and get the lights back on. Reporting live, Stephen Quinn, 7 News 19.